Hi everyone, I'm Daniel Saletti and this is What's Going On. Welcome to the show, everyone. We're back, uh, and I'm back here at Keene State College, and uh, I'm, I'm actually very surprised to be joined by this. Uh, this is very spontaneous. I'm joined by Bill Cathan, who's the uh, World Exercise Champion. So, Bill, thanks so much for joining us. So, um, you got yourself into uh, exercise and fitness, and you're the world champion. Why did you decide to do that? Well, I had a uh, I was into gymnastics, uh, not gymnastics, but track and field, and I wasn't the best in the world. So I said to myself, well, I, I got to do something. And there was somebody was telling me there's a guy doing jumping jacks on Good Morning America. So I said to myself, well, 5,103 he did. I said, I think I can beat him. So I trained for it for three or four months, and I got it to 5,671. So once I did that, I said to myself, well, uh, I'm going to call myself. And uh, but before that even, I said to myself, well, I'll look on the Internet and see what we got in Guinness Book of Records and see if there's anything about in, with calisthenics. So there was a guy on the, uh, so there's a guy that's out there. His name is from London, England. His name is Patty Dole. And then there's another man from New York City. His name is Oster Firm. And they set the most records for calisthenics, different things like jumping jacks, push-ups. And uh, Patty Doyle's a uh, guy who does backhand push-ups. So I was on ESPN. I broke the record from France. It was 1,500, and I did 1,705. Wow. And, uh, and I said, well, uh, i got to give myself a name because I've been breaking all these other guys' records. And I had the most broken records from the most individuals in the most categories. And I got my name in 1997. I started doing this, and then all of a sudden, uh, on the world exercise, I had to give myself a name. So I said, "World Exercise Champion." Helping you, help themselves. That's my logo name. That's your motto. That's my motto. I like that. And uh, I put it are. together. And uh, it used to be self-proclaimed because people haven't known me yet. But then I've been on the news for 20 years, newspaper clippings radio stations, even in California, uh, all over the world, uh, everywhere. Right. Uh, people have seen me on ESPN twice, seen me on CNN Headline News twice, and I walked backwards across America, and I've been on uh, uh, Discovery Channel for three or four seconds, they see me. And uh, I, I did all this because I love working with the children. Now, um, well, I mean, for me, I would have given you just the nickname of Superman by the, at this point. <laughs> right. um, yeah. And uh, now, I'm guessing your specialty, from what you've just told me now, is pretty much uh, push-ups. Is, uh, is that your yeah. specialty, or uh, do you? I do got push-up plates on my car, yeah, and I'm pretty good at doing push-ups. Yes, I hold the record for one minute in Manchester, New Hampshire, at the Fisher Cat Stadium. I did 143 push-ups in front of a thousand people. You have me on the screen. The Channel Nine was there. Oh and my they loved it. And I'm also the first person to ever walk up Mount Monadnock, balancing a baseball bat on my finger, all the way to the top, and chronicle all of the stuff. And they, I, without stopping, all the way to the top, without dropping off once, I made it to the top of Mount Monadnock. Wow. And I also did it blindfolded, and I walked it up backwards. I'm just tired from listening to all of that. <laughs> and then, of course, they have a mountain over in Hinsdale. It's called Juan Tasket Mountain. And I did a couple of records over there, too, uh, balancing a half a pool stick with an egg on top, on one finger all the way to the top. And, and wow. So I got a number of things I've done that I haven't even got into the internet. And uh, yeah. I, I, I'm nervous a little bit, folks. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, here at What's Going On, we're very laid back, so, don't, so not to worry about a thing. I'm not talking too fast. No, no, sorry. no, you're fine. Um, now, are, are, are you originally from New Hampshire? Or? Well, originally from Vermont. We're the okay. first settlers from southern Vermont. Uh, uh, 
Um, matter of fact, my last name is Kathan, K-A-T-H-A-N, and we are the very first settlers from southern Vermont, from Captain John, John, Cap, John, Cam, Captain John Kathan. There we go. And uh, I got it right, Brian. And uh, yeah, from, we came from London, England, and uh, King George III was, we didn't have no, you know, he gave us a piece of land not there to have. Right. Of course, we all lost it by now. But yeah, we're uh, southern Vermont. Uh, we're ascendants from Captain, Captain John Captain. Right, right. And now, you, you, you said you, 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 you have a motto there of, of, of staying healthy. Um, is, are, you, are you trying to, like, to push that toward other people so they can basically yes. follow in your footsteps? Or? Yes, I, I'm trying to help the, the folk to realize the importance of taking good care of themselves. And not only that, but their attitude and the way they act towards other people. That's another thing that is uh, in the help. It's, and, of course, the way you eat and stuff like that. And make sure you drink plenty of water, at least a half a gallon. And, right. And, of course, if you sweat a lot of a gallon, really, you're, you're not water. And I try to help children to realize the importance of being good kids and taking good care of themselves and respecting their parents. Oh, yeah. And, um, and I think they'll have a, and catch them at, you know, a young age, so they'll have that good start in their life to, uh, then when they get to be teenagers, if they did anything bad, it wasn't because of Bill Catherine said it. <laughs> I try to, you know, help kids get a good start in life. And right. This is the real reason why I do it. I want to act, eventually, I hope to get somebody to sponsor me and, Support me to get a nice big uh, uh, camp. Right. Oh, that'd be country, awesome. So they can enjoy nature, you know, and plant things and you put your hands in the soil is good for you. And mm -hmm. all so, yeah, and I really appreciate everything that, you know, I, uh, people appreciate what I've done and they love the idea and they're working with the kids and people all around. Anywhere I go, they're excited. I can talk to anybody in the stores, they, they get excited when they hear it, they want to. Get into their, they want to get into their cell phones and look it up. Oh, it is him. You that's know, him. Your picture taken with me and all this, and they just, they all get excited. That's that's really really yeah. cool actually, and you know you mentioned with all your pop popularity there, uh, you you're here now at Keene yeah. State. And what brings you to Keene State? Well, that's what brought me to Keene State College is because I was looking around and talking to the students, see what they think about me being the exercise champion, and they loved it, and. Uh, uh, Finding out if anybody wants to do a program with me like we're doing now. Right. <laughs> and uh, uh, here I am talking with you. And, uh, That's really, really cool. Today, I just thought it's a really good idea to uh, let people know that I'm here in Keene today and at the college. And, and you know, the World Exercise Team is here. And everybody I've talked to around the campus say, wow. What, what, what more can you say about that, really? Well, now, uh, when I, I've been on newspapers in different states all around the country. I've been to schools all over Keen, uh, New England. Mm -hmm. I did all the capitals in New England. I did a world record at every capital in New England. And uh, so it's not self-proclaim anymore, folks. Now it is a real thing. It's I'm the real thing. world exercise champion. It's not like uh, just some, anybody that does, that has a lot of spotlight on them, you know, a lot of people starting to know who you are. It gives you that name, just like the Guinness Book of Records. They just didn't. They just said that this is the name, and the only reason why they're big is because it took a lot of big athletes that are out there, right. and, and they're right. in the Guinness, and that makes them the Guinness Book of Records. So that's what. And you mentioned uh, before, just just when we met, that uh, you had a run-in with uh, Guinness World of Records. Yes, yes. The, the, the funniest thing about Guinness World Book of Records is that. Uh, if you you got to go through all their paperwork, yeah. and sometimes they don't get back with you on it. And if you don't get it right, then they don't. And they have their own rules. But I've seen sometimes when people do push-ups, they don't do a real good push-up. And, and I don't do the best push-up either, but I, I do. I try to get the 90 degrees. And uh, But Guinness Book of Records are more or less in the money part of it. You have to pay them to come out from London to come out here. You got to give them a hotel. Mm -hmm. They're all set up, and it's a lot of about money. But Ripley's, believe it or not, are not like that. If you have a record that you can do, they'll put it right on the air, and they, you know, you can see it and run the video and see it, and it's good, and they'll put it right on. And when I went to Orlando, Florida, I went right in there and I told them that I could do push-ups on raw eggs without breaking their shells, and they said, <sighs> and they just come right out and they said, can you do it now? Yeah, and I said, "Yeah, I can do it now," and uh, but they got me the wrong eggs. 
Oh no. Because they got me white eggs and I have to have brown eggs so they stand up better. And plus you gotta let them set for about three days. And for, I don't know, I guess the coldness out of them so right. they won't break. But I did it when they got those eggs that day and I did push ups on them for them. They put me on they put me in their book. And that's and that home that's amazing. Year. And and there's and I, there's bound to be some footage of you doing that. And there, yes, uh, even and on I, the internet they yeah. have some footage of And it. I think we have some footage of you doing the push ups on the eggs here, so if we can take a quick look at that. Oh, sure, that'd be great. Hi right, folks, I'm Brad Bowl Vermont. We'll do push-ups on raw eggs today. On four of them. Two for the feet, two for the front ends. And now that is just amazing what you can do. I mean, those those are not fake. Those are no, real those eggs. Those are real eggs. I had, are... I had a lot of omelets for a while. <laughs> <laughs> and, I getting, and I said to myself, wow. So I can do uh, four eggs. That's one foot on each egg and one on each hand. Mm -hmm. I can do three eggs. I can do two eggs. I can do one arm egg push-ups on them. I got this all on video somewhere, but I didn't put it in the internet. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and uh, I can also do push ups on eggs on one foot with a spoon in my mouth with an egg on that as I'm doing the push ups. <laughs> I think I'm in Ribley's when I did a couple of those there. Yeah. You're scaring me here. <laughs> yeah, and I, I got a number of things I can do. As a matter of fact, there's a record out there right now with a guy balanced a guitar on his chin for 15 minutes, and I'm pretty sure I can do that. You can do that. I, anything that. Anyone can do. I mean, you know, the, the classic song there, anything you can do, I can do better. That yeah. that essentially should be another motto for you yeah, because right. really you just want to come come out and break all these records right. and you are breaking them. Yes, and I have the most broken records now and I have a few set records, but I do have the most broken records now and the reason why is because of Patty Dole from London, England and Oscar Furman from New York City. Mm -hmm. They did things in calisthenics. Right. Uh, uh, Ostrider Furman did a lot of odd different things, balancing things on his finger, on his chin, and I've broken a lot of his record. And because of those two people, I have the most broken records now in the world. And I have a lot of set records, too, that I do. And uh, I mean, I have my papers and my, I wish I had brought them in here, it was right out my car. I have <laughs> magazines with my pictures and photos from the newspaper clippings and stuff, and all kinds of a variety of stuff. And I have um, my Guinness Book of Records and my, I got the plaque there and Ribley's underneath it. And mm -hmm. right out my car, but. Yeah, and that's that's what I like about it because uh, you you don't let anybody push you around. You just go ahead and make and, and let this happen. Yes. And um, it's really kind of cool to just have all these records beaten, and I really think they should maybe change the name of the book to the Catherine World Book of Records. Yeah, right, that's right. Well, the thing is, the records that I've done um, were really hard records and everything. Now, what did you just say before that I was going to ask? Oh, I, I, like, I like the fact that you always, um, you know, oh, let anyone push you around. Right. Now, the thing is, when I'm ready to go for the world record, Sometimes you have to wait for TV to get you on, and then all of a sudden, maybe that day you're not as good at it. So when I'm ready to do a record, I get my own little camera up, mm -hmm. and I get ready, and I get it set up, and I tell people what I'm going to do, and then I go ahead and do it. And when I did these finger two, I did finger push-ups. Now, I just just the other day, I think it was the eighth, I did 
eight finger push-ups, and I did them for a half an hour, and I did 614 on the only on one foot on the concrete. Don't forget, and I'm the only one in the world right now. It's not. It's not. It's not even in the internet where one guy could do 10 finger push-ups more than 10 minutes or 15 minutes or 30 minutes. Now there was one guy out there that did 105 in one minute, but years ago I already did 119 in one minute. This was a guy from India who did 116, but they didn't put them guys in the Guinness, I guess. But this other guy that did 105. But I got the most fingertip push-ups right now in 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and one half hour. The 10 minute one is 285. The 15 one, 15 minute one is uh, 378. And I just did the uh, half an hour, it was 614. And I got it all taped. I honestly don't even know what to say about that. <laughs> I, I, I uh, it's tough on your hands. I mean, after a while, you, because you, you, when you're doing push-ups, yeah, I can show you how. Absolutely, it works. yeah. It's just like this. When you're doing them, your hands got to be right up there, just like this. And you have to get. And I was on one foot. You're gonna go down there, and you, and that's the way I done them, just like that. And then take a short little break, and then I get down there and I'll do it again. Yeah, and that's that's the amazing part, and I love that. Um, so we're just about out of time, but I really want to thank you for coming on real quick. Well, thanks for having me. And I really and I want to. I always end my show on a on a little end fun segment. And um, I'm not a big political guy, but I there's a columnist out there who does a, sh a segment called I Hate These People. Yeah. But I want to turn it on its head, so I think it's time for another segment of I Kind of Like These People. Oh, okay, beautiful. That sounds good. Um, and we can connect it actually to your to to your. Um, Profession, uh, you know, all these um, a lot a lot of action movies right nowadays. They always have the big muscular heroes and stuff like that. Right. And you know, a lot of them behind the scenes they do it's either fiction. You know, they I mean. all do fiction stuff like that. But you have like the real the skill. Real skill yeah. Do you think that is a better idea than what they show in the movies, or do you think it's oh, maybe absolutely? A absolutely. I believe that uh, uh, I'm a real I'm a, I'm real Bill, and I'm, I'm what I do is real. It's truth. It's no fiction. It's not fake, and it's right to the point. And I thank God for my health that I can do this because the kids love it. And I gotta, I gotta ask if you don't mind me asking, how old are you? I'm 67 years old, and I'm, I feel like I'm in the best shape of my life. I mean, it's right ever since I started this 20 years ago. I mean, it, it, it just helps me with my uh, physical ability. Is I mean, it's just amazing. I mean, it's a gift from the Lord, is all I can say. It's just a gift from God. That, and God bless you for that. Well, Bill, thank, thank you. you so much for coming on thank the show. You. Thank you for having me. And uh, hope, and uh, we'll get this up there, and uh, we'll be back with more uh, news topics. And I'm Daniel Saletti, and this has been What's Going On. Thank you. Bye, everyone. <laughs>